azure service bus plugin demo we will go to design workflow designer then we move to create new job definition and here we will search for azure service bus as we can see azure service bus here now we need to provide the name of our job let's suppose we provide azure service bus not 11 then we will select the workstation then we move to the connection tab it will help us to authenticate with azure service bus here we need to provide the namespace shared access key name shared access key queue name or topic name with which we want to authenticate and perform the further operations and the queue name and the topic name will be the one which we have created inside our namespace like i will show you and this is the our namespace service puc which we have created in our azure service bus portal then here we have two entities queue and topic so firstly we will check with our queue if we click on queue then we move here and we can see the name service puc underscore queue so this is the queue name which we need to use in our plugin to authenticate and perform operation with this specific queue so we move here and we provide all these details here and we provide the queue name here then we perform the test connection and we can see the test connection has been successful then we move to the action tab in action tab we have three radio buttons send receive for queue receive for topic so we will discuss one by one each of them firstly we will discuss send so first is content type which is a mandatory field in this we support three formats text xml and json as these are the three formats which are supported by our azure service bus so we have mentioned these three formats only here then we have another two radio buttons upload file and message body so upload file in this if we click on this select file button and list of options came so all these with the help of this we can upload any file from our system which is present that we want to send to azure service bus secondly we have message body in this we can hard code our message what we want to send then we have some check boxes first is broker property in this we have four fields collaboration id message id reply to label and subject so all these are non-required fields so it's up to us if we want to provide detail or not so all these ids are the one which we provide and they will, when we send the message all these ids will get set with our message then another we have set time to live in this we also have four fields they are also non-mandatory fields days hours minutes and seconds in this we can set any number of values so till that time period our message will be live in that queue or topic and after that time period get completed our message will get automatically deleted from that then third checkbox we have set schedule to nq time in this we also have four fields days hours minutes and seconds so all these are also non-required fields so in this we can provide any value and till that time period our message will be in scheduled state after that time period get passes on our message will become active and you can read that message then fourth we have this custom property in this we have two fields key and value all these both are also non-required field so with the help of this we can set a key value pair for our message while we are sending then we have repeat send in this we have two fields number of messages and interval between messages so number of messages means how many times you want to send that messages you want to send that particular message or the file which you have uploaded four to five times so you can mention that number here and the second one is interval between messages in second so it is the time period or the gap between two messages while they were sending so if you keep here 60 so that means 60 seconds so if one message reach after that after 60 seconds our second message will be sent then last we have a save output to files in this we have one field that is a required field output file path in this we can give the look uh, location of any file from our system so whatever the result we get from azure service bus that will automatically get saved in this file then we have receive for queue this is used to receive the messages from queue 
in this we have a mode we support only receive and delete mode so what if so whatever the message we receive from azure service bus it will automatically get deleted from that azure service bus portal so here then we have number of messages to receive this is non required field in this you can mention any specific number of messages you want to receive if you want to receive four messages or five messages you can mention here so that much messages you will receive and if you do not provide any value here then by default you will receive only one message at a time then we have makes time to wait in second so this is also a non required field in this you can provide any time period till that time period you want to wait to receive your messages then we have a checkbox save output to file here you can give the path of any location file location from your system and all the messages which you have received automatically get saved in that file then we have received for topics in this first field we has a subscription name it is a mandatory field in this you need to provide the name of the subscription because to read the messages from the topic you need a subscription to receive those messages then secondly we have received more this is also a mandatory field by default we pro support receive and delete so if it is works as same as we have discussed earlier whatever the messages you receive from that particular subscription all those messages will get deleted from that subscription then we have number of messages to receive here you can mention any number of messages which you want to receive from that subscription and if you do not provide any specific number here by default it will receive only one message at a time then lastly we have this makes time to wait in seconds it is also a non required field so here you can mention any time period till that time period you want to wait in that subscription to receive the messages then lastly we have this save output to files in this we have a mandatory field output file path similarly you can give the location of any file from your system and whatever the messages you have received from azure service bus that will automatically get saved in this file so we will have a demo with this firstly we will try with our sin so we will hard code the value we will write a message hello queue from plugin we are only sending the required fields we are saving our job and we are submitting it then we go to monitoring monitor workload and here we will try to search for our job now we will try to increase the priority of our job the job has been successful that means whatever the message we are trying to send is successfully sent to azure service bus queue we can also check here see here this is the hello queue from plugin this is the message we just sent with the help of our plugin and it is successfully received by our azure service bus queue so now we will try to receive the message with the help of our plugin see for queue we will not mention any specific number here so we will just simply save our job we will submit it now now we will go to monitoring monitor workload similarly we will try to find for our job we will increase the priority of the job the job has been successful that means it has successfully fetch all the messages from the queue so we will check here in the queue 
see we have not mentioned any specific number here so by default it will receive only one message at a time so earlier there were five messages present so now it is being received and deleted from here so that's why only four messages are being available here see the first message has gone because it is acknowledged by our plugin and we have mentioned receive and delete that why it is being received there and deleted from here so similarly we will try with the help of topic here we will mention the topic name so is the topic name will be same which we have created inside azure service plus namespace i will show you so if we go to this topic so see this is the topic name this is the same topic name which we have mentioned inside our plugin name we will do test connection the test connection has been successful now we will try to send the message with the help of plugin to the topic we will send the message hello topic from plugin and here also we are providing only mandatory fields so we will save this job submit it it has been saved and submitted so we will move to monitoring monitor workload then we will try to search for our job we will increase the priority of our job The job in B is successful. That means the message has been successfully sent to our topic inside. So to receive the message, we need to use the subscription here. So let's see, this is our subscription. We will go inside it and we will try to fetch the message. Hello topic from Q. This is the message which we have just sent with the help of our plugin. So it is received here. So that means it is working properly. Now we will try to receive the message with the help of our plugin. So we will go to receive from topic and here we need to mention the subscription name which I just sh showed you. We need to mention the same subscription name. Then here also we are not mentioning any specific number of messages to be received. So we are just simply saving it and submitting the job. It has been saved and submit. So we will go to monitoring, monitor workload and we will try to search for our job. Here it is, we will increase its priority. We need to check. Okay. I think we have mentioned the wrong subscription name. We need to check this. Okay. Uh, see, if we provide the wrong subscription name, the message will not be received and the job will get failed. So we need to provide here like this. This is the correct subscription name we can see here. This is topic one underscore subscription one. So we need to provide the subscription name here. So we will again try to save this job. Submit it. Now we will again go to monitoring, monitor workload. We will try to search for our job. We will increase its priority. See the job is being successful that means now we have successfully received that message with the help of our plugin so see the correction of name is so much required otherwise it will not work as expected so now the job is being successful we will check inside this topic subscription 
see the subscription has been zero. That means no messages. So whatever there is only one message that was present inside the subscription that is being acknowledged by our plugin and it is being read and received. So it is it get deleted from this. So we can see that the process of sending and receiving the messages with the help of Azure Service Bus is working as expected, like in the plugin. Thank you.